everybody, it's Michael with Cooking with Anarchy Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to um, take music from your iPod and copy it over to your PC. So this is going to be an instance where uh, you lose your music on your computer, maybe have a hard drive crash like I did recently, um, and you've lost, you've seemingly lost all your music. But uh, as long as you have uh, backed up everything to your iPod itself, you can recover all of your music files, and that's what we're going to show you how to do. Um, a couple things you need to know about first, though, is uh, you have to be able to view hidden files and folders. Um, if you don't know how to do that, there's going to be a link over in the description to uh, uh, how to do it in Windows, because that's what I'm doing it in. I'm going to do it in Windows uh, 7 using iTunes 9, and um, it's going to be an iPod Classic that I'm using. Um, this, does not, this technique does not work with iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, and again, using Windows 7 and iTunes 9. And um, your iPod must be in disk mode. And I'll also provide a link over to Apple, which will show you how to do that if you don't know how to do that. Um, but pending you do all that, um, let's get started. OK, everybody, so uh, this is how you would uh, uh, move your iPod music to um, iTunes if your hard drive is uh, it crashes for some reason. So right now on my desktop, I've gone ahead and created this one folder called iPod Music. Um, that's a, You just create a folder like that called iPod Music. Um, and then once your iPod is in disk mode, um, which there's a link over to the right which shows you uh, uh, how to do that, plug in your um, iPod, which I'm about to do right now. I'm using one of the iPod Classics. It's an 80 gig one. Excuse me. Um, once this uh, pops open, you're going to open the folder to view the files. And I'm going to kind of make this shared on here. Um, and then you're going to see these. Uh, and once you also, um, once you've unhidden all of your files and folders, you'll be able to see this particular directory right here called iPod Control. Um, so you'll double click that to open it. And then you'll also be able to see this one called Music. That's where all your music is held. And then you'll see one or many more of these other folders here. Yours may start with an F. They may start with a different letter. But uh, each one of these folders inside here contains all of your music. You'll note that uh, each one of these um, files, they're either an MP3 or an M4A or whatever, whatever format they happen to be in. And it, uh, it appears as if it's just this, these four letters. But uh, in actuality, that's kind of a, a coding that um, uh, Apple or iTunes use, or iPods use to um, more easily find files. But if you click on that, you can see down at the bottom right here, this is actually the President of the United States of America. Sorry, this is a long time ago when I was listening to these, like 2004, so I apologize for that music to everybody who's offended by that. Just kidding. So, um, <clears throat> so if you click on each one of these, you can see down at the bottom here um, what the track is. And it's on that last one from the Titanic soundtrack. You can see that it still, it still retains the image of the, of the, uh, uh, al of the uh, CD and, and all that stuff. So everything's still on there. All your information is still there. It's just put in a format that uh, uh, you may not immediately recognize as being your MP3. Um, so OK, so um, once you see all these uh, uh, directories in here, you're going to take this each directory. I'm just going to take one of them. OK, I'm going to take one just for the sake of showing you. I'm going to take, uh, you know what, I'm going to take two. I'm going to take two, and I'm going to copy. Never cut them from your iPod, because this is your iPod right here. So you're going to copy, and then click over to the iPod Music uh, directory and paste them. And you can see this is going to copy uh, 600 items or so, 2.8 gigs. So this, this might take a little bit of time. I'm going to uh, fast forward through all this, and we'll get to the next step. OK, so we have uh, two directories that were just copied, or two of these, uh, uh, these directories over here from the iPod. Again, um, if you have a lot of directories over here, you're going to have to copy them all over okay, to uh, this iPod music directory. Do not cut them from the iPod, or if something happens, uh, you're going to lose all your music. So just uh, make sure you're copying it, this all from your iPod to the iPod music directory. Once that's done, you can actually uh, close this folder right over here. This is the iPod one. This is the iPod directory. So I'm going to close it. 
and I'm going to eject it as well. And uh, the reason is um, you don't want to make any mistakes on this. You want to protect your music on your iPod as much as you can. So I've just disconnected my iPod. It's no longer connected. Then uh, you have a couple things to do to these directories once you um, are uh, once you got them copied over. If you double click it, um, right now I'm seeing all of the files in here. I'm seeing all the music in here, but um, uh, that's because I have my settings this way. It's very possible if you were to open up this directory, you're not going to see anything in there, uh, especially once we uh, get to the next step. But uh, in order to, to be able to view it, each one of these directories, in order for, for iTunes to see it as well, you're going to have to right click it and choose properties and make sure it's not a read only and make sure it's not hidden. So make sure both of these are unchecked and then click apply. And apply changes this folder, subfolders and files. OK. OK. Now, if you want, if you have a whole bunch of directories, of course, you can highlight them all at the same time, just like that by pushing the shift key. Well, you know how to you know how to highlight multiple directories. So just um, highlight them all, then do properties and make sure that they're not hidden or read only. Okay. And now at this point we're ready to open up iTunes and import these bad boys into iTunes. Um, I'm going to go through um, the steps leading up to the actual importation and then I'm going to stop because uh, I've already imported all these but I'll show you what to do. You open up your iTunes. Go to Edit, Preferences, Advanced, and then uh, keep iTunes Media Folder organized and copy files to iTunes Media Folder when adding to library. Ch make sure both of those are checked, and uh, that way you can get rid of that iPod Music directory once you're done importing. And then you're going to go to File, Add folder to library, and then you're going to browse to your iPod music directory that you created where you put all those files, and you're going to highlight every single one of the directories like that, and you're going to click select folder. Now once you collect, click that, it's going to import all of that music from those folders, and it's going to organize them just like uh, it's organized right here. Um, here's what I did yesterday. You can see where it's all 1-6-2010. Uh, um, and it goes, it'll just keep going. Note the time on there, the times for these. So 826, 825. These things will just keep on going, keep on importing until it's all imported in there. And it takes a little bit of time and then it has to process it. The, longer, the bigger library, of course, the longer it's going to take. So just give it a little bit of time and uh, it'll all import just fine and everything will be in here already. What you do lose are your playlists. You're not going to have your playlists and you're not going to have um, your ratings or um, the last time it was played, or the play count as well. You're just going to have the basic information about the file as if you're f starting fresh and new. But uh, I think for most of us who this type of incident has happened to, um, you're happy just to get your music back. So um, that's about it. Um, I hope this is helpful. Uh, please, please, please rate my, uh, my tutorial. Feel free to give me some comments. If you have any questions or anything, I'll feel, I will uh, be glad to help you out. So just uh, type your questions into the comments, and I will reply back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot, and have a great 2010.